I literally made myself here a little Mam Noon taco. Let's see if I can do this in one bite. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Rated B. Today I'm doing another continuation of veggies you would want to eat as entrees. And today I am here at Mam Noon in Capitol Hill which is one of my favorite restaurants here in Seattle. It is Middle Eastern cuisine. If you're not familiar with it, or if you love Mediterranean Middle Eastern food, this is the spot you need to come to. They offer a lot of plant-based options, so I can't wait to show you guys what they got. Let's go. So I'm here with Chef Perry, and she's going to introduce all this beautiful food that we have. We have got a meze and a whole bunch of sorts of things. But what do we have here? So first we have Barnaby Makli. It's a fried cauliflower. Um, it's very simple, seasoned with salt. It comes out of the fryer, and then it's garnished with a tahini sauce called terator, and then parsley. Next dish I have is eggplant dish called um, baba ganoush and it's smoky charred eggplant that we um, do on the grill. And then we season it with a little bit of tahini as well. Um, parsley, of course, and some olive oil. This is one of my favorite things to eat here. I recommend this to everyone. I mean, it's something so simple, like charred eggplant. It has a lot of antioxidants, it has so many health benefits. Yeah. And it's just a really delicious way to eat it. It's eggplant in a different way. You've probably never experienced it before. Um, over here we have the mahamara. This is a walnut red pepper um, spread, a meze. Um, it has a little bit of pomegranate molasses, which gives it a little tart sweetness too. I think this is the kind of like unsung hero for um, a lot of people. Yeah. People try it and they're just like, oh, I would have never ordered that off the menu. Yes. But now I'm getting it every time I come. Well, especially here, like in the Northwest, it's not something familiar, but it's so good. Good. You have to just try it because, like you said, it has a sweet, and savory, nutty taste. Walnuts are very healthy for you. A lot of omega 3s. And moving right along, we have our world famous Hara Free. It's really, really popular. And they're not on our dinner menu, but if you ask, you can have them. Do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> have fries in the fryer, but once they come out, we hit them with a little bit of lemon vinaigrette and some Hara spice with Aleppo cayenne in it and then cilantro. We serve it with uh, za'atar mayonnaise, which is a Lebanese spice, and our house-made ketchup. It's kind of a little bit sweeter, spicy ketchup. So if you want the vegan option, you can have the ketchup, and then if you're a vegetarian, obviously the za'atar mayo is what you can have. And the cauliflower, it's already vegan because it has the tahini dressing. Next, we have the falafel. So we grind chickpeas and fava beans together um, to make a really nice uh, fritter. We have some pickles on the bottom, kind of the same ones that go here, just to give a little bit of pop. Get the tahini sauce as well, and just a little herb salad on top, very simple. And of course, everything we do here is served with our pita. You can't have all of this without this. A lot of these mezes are designed to be eaten with pita, so they're gonna pop a huge, huge flavor punch. And then, so because you do have the pita to go. So this cuisine typically has a lot of plant-based options to begin with, yes. would you say? Oh, absolutely. There are a lot of vegetarians, uh, a lot of vegans um, in the Middle East, and so we definitely cater to that. The Mediterranean Middle East event, like, it gets a lot of fame for having that real health benefits, and they try to incorporate a lot here into the Western world because because they notice like something's different over there, the way they're eating. Yeah. Well, Middle, Middle Eastern cuisine was also named like the healthiest diet in the world. Oh my gosh, year, I didn't so. know that. That's amazing. Yeah. And so that was really cool. That's awesome. Well, yes, this is definitely a place you need to come try. Thank you, Chef Perry, yes. for Thanks explaining for me. Thank you so much. Yes. So I'm gonna start with this cauliflower. It's amazing how literally they just cook this cauliflower and they season it with a little salt and that's it. Like that's what makes this thing taste so good. And it's just cauliflower. Like, yes, it's fried, so you don't want to eat fried vegetables all the time. But I mean, it's a fun way to eat your veggies. Like, if you want to eat cauliflower one day, you want to eat this one. It's just so crispy and so flavorful, and the tahini just adds that much more flavor and depth to it. So you literally feel like you're eating a hearty entree. You wouldn't think, oh, this is just cauliflower. No, this is a whole different dish, elevated in a whole different way. I can't help it. I'm digging into these fries. I love these fries. You will never be disappointed with these fries. I'm just gonna say that. All right, baba ganoush. Like I mentioned earlier, this is something I literally suggest to everyone. I'm like, if you're gonna go to Mad Moon, you need to get two things. I mean, three. The cauliflower is one of them. 
the fries and the bubble noodles. Like, if you're only gonna get three, you have to get those three. And then with fluffy homemade pita bread, I mean, come on. It's a win win. I've tried making this at home so many times, and I don't even come close. Like, literally, you wanna try their bubble noodles. It's that delicious charred flavor. It sinks in. You don't feel like you're eating eggplant. If you don't like eggplant, like Chef Kerry mentioned, like you want to try this anyways. It is just full of so much flavor. And then of course, Mahamara, like I mentioned, like this is not something a lot of people tend to be familiar with, but you definitely want to try it. You will be pleasantly surprised. Mm. Definitely something you want to get. If you like rich flavors, you can really taste the pomegranate, like that sweetness. So I, def I always love the mix of sweet and savory, so if you like that, you'll love this. Last but not least, you can never go wrong with falafel. Vegetarians and non-vegetarians are very familiar with this because falafel is almost like a vegetarian meatball, right? It's so hearty, it goes great in sandwiches, just eating it by itself. I love how here that they mix it with fava beans and chickpeas, it's usually just chickpeas, and then there's parsley and onion and garlic, and they serve it with tahini. Falafel is like a staple that you always want to have. It's so high in protein and fiber too because it's made out of chickpeas and beans. Like it's good for you. So definitely something you want to try out. The thing I love about mezes is that literally since everything's a small plate, you can mix and match your flavors and combine them however you wish. I've literally made myself here a little Mam Noon taco. <laughs> I've literally put everything that we ordered in one pita. Let's see if I can do this in one bite. Oh my gosh. Uh, Mm. This is good. There's a thing about putting this on your street food menu. Mm. That's another thing. If you want to enjoy this for lunch, they have another location on 6th off Lenora. So it's downtown, great street food option. Get your sandwiches to go. They have the bob ganoush, hummus, falafel, a lot of the other staple foods. And they also sell a lot of little things here. Like for example, the Aleppo that goes on their fries, they sell it and you can get it here at Mamnoon. If you're making fries at home and you just want a little secret spice, definitely add that. If you're gonna choose your carbs wisely, because I know I have friends that do this, let's say you're gonna, you want these fries, but you want the baba but you don't want the extra pita bread, dip the fries in the baba ganoush, and it's a win-win. Mm. That way you can feel less guilty. But if you're like me, I make fries sandwiches. Carby girl! Alright guys, that's a wrap. I hope next time you're in Capitol Hill, you choose Mam Noon for one of your vegetarian or vegan meals. Middle Eastern food is a definite great option, especially if you're looking for a lot of plant-based things to eat. You're not going to be disappointed if you come here. There's a lot of food here, a lot of options, a lot of good flavor. Make sure to check it out. Bye!